What is up guys? Welcome back for our week three team builder for the NBA. This week we are taking on the Seattle Cedras and Jose. Uh, Jose Shiny Weavile uh, was the opponent that we were supposed to play in the PWM that never ended up showing up if you guys remember that. But uh, we are going to get a chance to play him this week. Uh, don't know exactly when I'm going to play him. Uh, you guys should be seeing this go up around 5.30 p.m. Saturday. Uh, we might not even play until late on Sunday because our schedules just don't match up, but uh, it's okay. It's, it's fine. We'll get through it. We'll upload late on uh, on Sunday. Important part is that the video goes out and you guys get to see what happens in the battle. But uh, this is the team builder, and uh, the team that my opponent is bringing is actually monstrous. Let me just bring it up for you guys. So uh, I just paused it, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught that. Um, my opponent's team is made up of Excadrill, Florgis, Tangrowth, Slowking, Mesprit, Weezing, Megalopony, Tyranitar, Empoleon, Regular Rotom, and Pyroar. This is a crazy defensive core coupled with one of the best offensive cores from the OU metagame being Sand Lopany, uh, or Lop Sand as some people like to call it. Jose is currently 3-0 in the NBA uh, with a very good record. He is tied for uh, for first place, other than differential, of course, with the 3-0 record. And he just has a monstrous team. He beat Rob last week, and uh, Rob came pretty close, but he was not able to break down Jose's walls, and that was the biggest issue. So I'm bringing pretty much a wall-breaking core, uh, and you guys will see. Uh, it's kind of a wall-breaker plus stall-breaker core, and uh, let's get right into it. You guys will see uh, Mega Scizor right here. Edward, our Mega Scizor, who uh, is packing U-Turn, Bullet Punch, Swords Dance, and Roost. 248 HP, able to take hits. 124, Adamant Nature, uh, able to dish out hits as well. Swords Dance, coupled with Bullet Punch and U-Turn, can deal a lot of damage to my opponent's team. Uh, as well as 136 speed. This is enough speed to outspeed max speed wheezing, which I know that doesn't sound like a thing. But he could actually bring just a flamethrower, my scissor, if he expects me to be min speed. Uh, or just a little bit of speed investment to like outspeed his tang growth or something. So, this is the uh, this is the set that we're bringing. Um, this is just for momentum. Scissor is here strictly for momentum early game. Force out switches on the tang growth and the slow king that know that they can't stay in on me. Force him into a, uh, a more defensive mon or a mon that can take the U-turn. And then proceed to switch out into either Hydreigon or Thunderous or pretty much anything and, and just uh, run shop. But um, this is the uh, this is the set that we're bringing. Uh, I actually forgot to nickname my Mammoth Swine. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Twerk. That's what it was. I couldn't remember the nickname uh, that we had nicknamed um, Mammoth Swine for our battle against Colton, but I got it now. Uh, I went back and watched that video. So uh, that's our Mega Scizor set. Uh, our next Pokemon, like I said before, we're, we're going to be U turning into this Pokemon quite a bit. Uh, is going to be our Hydreigon with Super Power, Iron Tail, Dark Pulse, and Roost. Now, the 48 speed that you see down there is just enough to outspeed uh, Tyranitar that is not Scarfed. Uh, so that's going to come in uh, pretty clutch if I get off a Super Power on it. Iron Tail is there specifically for the Florges, which can be a huge, huge annoyance to my team. Uh, I can just wall pretty much everything out. Uh, except for Tyrantrum, which I decided not to bring. It was originally on this team. I made a lot of modifications. I actually didn't say this before, but this team builder is the second one I'm recording. The first one had a very similar team, but I replaced a couple of things. Mamoswine and Miss Magius were not here originally. I had Uxie and Tyrantrum instead. So, uh, Dark Pulse, of course, is to be able to hit pretty much everything for super effective damage. Mega Lopany, while it's not Mega Evolved. Uh, be able to hit the Rotom for super effective, uh, as well as the Slow King. Uh, I can't really hit the Tangrowth for super effective damage, but that's perfectly fine. Dark Pulse still hurts, as long as it's not AV. We also have the Flinch chance, uh, chance, which is really nice. And as you can see, I'm running Max Attack, Naughty Nature with 208 Spit F, because Dark Pulse is going to be one of the moves I click the least. Uh, I also didn't mention this as well. I tried out this team on the, um, on the OU ladder a little bit, and it actually worked out pretty damn well um, like I was winning probably about 60 to 70 percent of my games because I was catching a lot of people off guard with certain sets and one of them was this next one which is Miss Magius uh, we got um, leftovers levitate of course will-o-wisp taunt pain split and heal bell you guys can see I'm rocking a max defense bold nature uh, Miss Magius with max speed um, I, I'm gonna adjust the speed before the game because it doesn't need the max speed. I'm going to invest a little bit more in bulk. Uh, probably just enough speed. Let's actually fix that right away. 200. What I'm going to do is at speed... Um, uh, no, hold on. Uh, yeah, 216. A little bit more. 220, uh, 228, right? 
Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now we're out speeding uh, max speed Excadrill. Uh, I'm going to reduce a little bit here and put a little in SPDF. There we go. So now we come in on rocks and we get the uh, correct leftovers back. And uh, with this little extra bulk, this is actually going to allow us to live a return or a high jump kick from uh, Megalopony, barring it being adamant, which it might be. Uh, Will O Wisp is there to be able to catch the T Tar and the switch it in if it wants to pursue Trap Me. Taunt is to be able to keep the Florges from going for aromatherapy or wish to heal up the rest of his team which can be very very annoying if he doesn't bring his regenerator core in tangrowth and sloking he's going to be relying on floor just to get a lot of recovery across his team because nothing else has reliable recovery wheezing only gets pain split rotom only gets pain split uh, Pyro doesn't get any recovery, neither does Napoleon, neither does Tyranitar, nor, nor Megalopony, nor Mesprit, nor Excadrill. So, if we can burn or poison the majority of his team, you guys will see we also have Toxic on this team, and we can keep him from aromatherapying up the team, uh, and use Pain Split to gain back our health slowly, uh, then we can stall him out instead of being stalled out. Uh, that is going to be the purpose of this Miss Magia set. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but it might. Uh, heal Bell is there, of course, to heal up any status that we could get on our team. I very much predict Jose to bring Toxic on his Megalopony specifically for, for, uh, to wear down Slowbro because I take like 32 from return, and it's really not a lot. So uh, he's going to have to find another way to wear that thing down because the regenerator and everything is really going to cause him issues. Uh, he could always get up Stealth Rocks and stuff like that, but like... That's, that's only a little bit of extra damage. Uh, with the leftovers recovery, it's really uh, I'm really mitigating all that damage. So, uh, Ms. Magius is going to be there to heal up um, Slowbro in case it gets poisoned. Speaking of which, Berlin is our next Pokemon here. Our, uh, our Slowbro, our defensive Slowbro, fully physically defensive. I need this thing to take on Excadrill and Megalopony. I need it to take, the, uh, take on two Pokemon. That is a very difficult task for one Pokemon to accomplish. Normally, you have a core that's able to take on different threats like that. Slowbro is going to have to act as both. Now, don't get me wrong. I know very well that the Megalopony can run Toxic, and I know that Excadrill can run Excisor to hit me super hard. But Skull does a lot to them either way. Psychic is there specifically for the Lopony, and of course for the Weezing, excuse me, um, to be able to knock them out. I'm 100% sure Jose is bringing Weezing. If he doesn't bring Weezing, he gets swept by Mega Scizor. So there is absolutely no reason for him not to bring it. Uh, he could also bring Pyroar in place, but that thing gets worn down super fast by my team. So he has to be very careful about how he picks what he's bringing. Uh, as a result, I'm bringing Psychic. Toxic is there to be able to catch the Tangrowth on the switch. If I'm able to Toxic it and make sure that Toxic stays on it, it can't stay in on me forever. So it has to eventually switch out, and the turn that I know it's going to, I can play around that. Uh, so this is our slow bro set. Again, it's meant to take on two Pokemon, which is going to be an extremely difficult task. If we can burn the Tyranitar, we can take that on as well, so that's not too bad. Of course, there's always the possibility of crunch uh, crunch defense drops, but we'll we'll play around that. So that's our slow bro set. Next is Thundolos, our Thunderous. We are bringing an extremely interesting Thunderous set here this week. Uh, Choice Scarf, Max Attack, Naughty once again, just like Hydreigon. 252 attack, 200 special attack, 52 in speed, allowing it with the Choice Scarf to outspeed Megalopony, Jolly Megalopony, uh, at max speed. So, anything outside of a Scarfer on his team will not outspeed our Thunderous. We are rocking Volt Switch, that is to be able to hit the Slowking and the Weezing for a good amount of damage, as well as being uh, hitting the uh, the Empoleon super effectively, uh, and it allows us to gain momentum off of Volt Switch. We're going to be working with a Volt Turn Core a little bit uh, between Thunderous and Scizor. In late game, this can actually put on a lot of pressure on my opponent. Um, we got Superpower on there once again. This is uh, our second one with Superpower. We have one more in the back, Twerk. Um, superpower is to, of course, be able to hit the uh, Megalopony, the Tyranitar, the Excadrill, and the Empoleon, all for super effective damage, as well as the Pyro. I forgot to mention that one. He has uh, uh, excuse me, five Pokemon. <laughs> I kept wanting to say five, and I, I was, like, slipping out four. He has five Pokemon that are weak to Fighting-type moves. So I'm bringing fighting type um, coverage on three out of six of my Pokemon to be able to hit those things for super effective damage. Uh, Knockoff, of course, is there to be able to hit the Sloking uh, very hard. Uh, it also gets a boost from Defiant, which can be nice if my opponent attempts to defog with the Empoleon. I can just start spamming Knockoff if the Tyranitar is gone, which is really, really nice. Uh, and then U-Turn is there because I'm max attack. And I want to get off as much damage as possible on the Tangrowth when it switches in on me because I'm very, it's very likely to. So uh, I can go for that. I can also gain momentum off of it. Again, the Defiant uh, is just very, very useful. The number of people that switch in uh, Landorus's on the ladder into this thing 
uh, and get a U-turn, a plus one U-turn from 361 attack on them. Uh, it actually does like 20 to 25 percent, which is pretty crazy because it gains me so much momentum. It gets me into Mammoth Swine uh, on a defensive um, Landorus, of course. Uh, gets me into Scizor if it's an offensive Landorus, and I'm able to roost off damage. So uh, against Landorus, this uh, this core actually works really well. Um, I've yet to see how well it works against Sand. Uh, it did it did pretty well. I actually ran into a Sand team on the ladder with this team, and I was able to handle it fairly well. But he didn't have the same core as Jose, so uh, it might be it might play out a little bit differently. So this is our Thunderous set. Of course, uh, gets very easily worn down by Rock, so I have to pick how I switch it in uh, very carefully. This is a late game sweeper. If I if my opponent only has the Tyranitar uh, and the Megalopony left, and neither of them are. Um, well, if the Tyranitar is not Scarfed and the Megalopony doesn't have Fake Out for whatever reason, I can spam Super Power and knock both out. So, uh, that's what this thing's for. Our last Pokemon here is Twerk. Now, I debated bringing Mammoth Swine or not because my opponent has a lot of good checks to it, uh, being uh, Excadrill, of course, which threatens it with the Iron Head. Uh, it has Tang Growth, which, uh, outside of an Ice move, I cannot touch, and it can knock me out with a Leaf Storm or even a, a very invested Giga Drain. Uh, Slow King pretty much takes hits very well if he defends, uh, if he invests if he invests in defense, excuse me, uh, and he can dish out a Scald on me, Weezing is uh, just as big of a pain because I cannot touch that thing outside of Icicle Crash and it really does nothing to it. Um, Tyranitar can be run Scarfed. Uh, we're running 244 speed once again, just like Hydreigon, just to outspeed the, uh, the Tyranitar. Uh, and, and then I outspeed the rest of his defensive core as well with that investment, which is really nice. Um, I expect the Weezing to come again, so I didn't pack Earthquake on this thing. I don't see a point. Superpower is just better. Uh, it, it's able to hit the Excadrill and the Lopany and the Tyranitar and the Empoleon and the Pyroar once again, all for super effective damage. So, of course, I lower my attack in the process, but it's definitely worth it to be able to Oko a Tyranitar as opposed to uh, very close to hit KOing it. So. Uh, that's why we're running Superpower. Protect is here. This is one of the biggest uh, things I debated on my team during the team building process was whether or not to bring uh, Ice Shard or Protect or Earthquake as a final move. As you can see, Icicle Crash is the last move on there, but that was just a series of me putting in moves. But Protect was the last move I decided on, and the reason I decided to go with Protect is because, one, it allows me to dodge a Fake Out on turn one from Lopany preventing it from breaking our Focus Sash, which you see we have here. Uh, the other reason is because if Lopany goes for a high jump kick later in the game, and I haven't revealed pro uh, Protect yet, if he brings a high jump kick, of course, because he could easily bring Drain Punch instead, which means Miss Magius is actually better in this matchup because uh, Drain Punch won't do as much to us, seeing as we're uh, fully physically defensive. But if he has high jump kick and I go for Protect, I take off half his health right there. And then I can switch into Slowbro if it's still alive. So... Um, that's that's the idea is to uh, protect on the fake out or protect on the high jump kick it also allows me to scout if my opponent is scarfed or uh, or banded on certain things or specs uh, if my opponent goes for a uh, a specs hyper voice let's say from pyroar trying to catch my slow bro coming in I can switch into Miss Magius and then I'm not affected if he goes for a fire blast I can switch into slow bro and then switch back out into let's say uh, Hydreigon after I get the regenerator so that's uh, protect is very very useful in that sense if my opponent brings in Tyranitar on me I know I'm faster there's no reason to bring that in unless you're scarfed so I can protect I can see what move you're locking yourself into if it's not a uh, super effective fighting move then I can stay in super power you and knock you out if it is a super effective fighting move I can switch into Slowbro. so Mammoth Swine has a lot of utility this match. As long as I can manage to keep its sash intact, uh, we should be good to go. So uh, that's going to be the team builder, guys. Uh, hopefully this works out. And uh, hopefully I put his team as well on the right side this whole time. I don't know. <laughs> when I'm recording this, it's not up there. So uh, that's it. If, uh, if you enjoyed, if you were uh, psyched for the battle tomorrow, uh, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see any of the content that I put out, whether it be league matches or regular lives during the week. And uh, check out my Twitter and my Facebook, both are in the description, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.